In this video, I'll be looking at how I can incorporate institutional account learning outcomes into a rubric. The first thing you'll have to do is open up your outcomes. Now, all six of the outcomes you see there are course level, set up by me at the course level, but none of these will report to the institutional level. I'll I may still need all of these for my own purposes, but most important, I'm going to need these three, uh, which are specific learning outcomes for learning outcome three, because I'm going to set up a rubric for course learning outcome three, open data exploration. But I'm not going to use this outcome. This outcome does not flow to the institutional level. I created this in the course. In order to create a rubric using an institutional level outcome, which is necessary for assessment, I have to first add before I do the rubric, I have to start here in the outcomes, and I have to add the rubric from the account standards. Now, at the moment, most courses aren't in the account standards, just a couple classes, because I'm, we're still basically piloting. But as you can see, I'm simply navigating my way down, MSSC, Math Science, Science. These are basically divisions, and so I drill down, Marine, Science, Math, and then I'll drill on down. And what I want is this this one here. I'll actually grab both. I'm going to put in both. MS150-1. Now, here I can see what the outcome is for. At the present, it appears it might not display that way or does not display that way in the rubric. And so I, I'm not sure how to control that at this point. I don't think it will display. But my specific learning outcomes will still cover what I want the students to specifically know and do. So I'm going to import this to my statistics class. I'm going to go back to find, which will take me right back to where I just was. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, student learning outcome two. I'll probably need that later. And find one more time and import 150.3. And say yes, OK, import that. So these three came from here in the institutional account. And I could grab any particular student learning outcome I wanted to, but those are the ones I need for this course. Not sure why one would grab something else. But so those three belong. And you can see that I can't delete it. I can't edit these. Well, there's reasons I can't delete any of them. I, I can delete this one still from my from where I am. But these I can't because I've already attached them in another section. Uh, but be that as it may, these these will not be something that I can e edit. You'll see I have no edit capability. I can remove them if I'm not using them. So I'll go to my rubrics. I'm going to set up a new rubric using them. Uh, you can see I've been building a number of different rubrics. This is going to be just open data exploration. That'll be my rubric. I don't have any criterion in this particular rubric, so I'm going to go ahead and find outcome. Uh, and I take a moment to load. This is the institutional basic statistics. I'm going to put that one in this rubric. I'm going to find another outcome. I'm going to grab three, course level three. And then these three are ones that I made, and I'm going to put them in the rubric. These are my specific learning outcomes for three. So I'll be doing my course level summative right inside the same rubric that I'm doing my specific learning outcomes. So now I've got two course level from the institutional deck. You'll notice, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to come in blank. I don't know how to get uh, a text to appear from the institutional deck without attaching it to the title. And there's some complexities to that. Our outcomes, as listed on our outlines, do not have titles. So uh, short of making titles up, there isn't a way to get something to appear here, because what would appear here is the title. And there are some issues with titles. This is going to turn out to be a key column for uh, aggregating outcomes on the back side. It's going to be the key join field to a dimension table. So there shouldn't be any unusual characters in it, or it won't join properly. So for now, it's a very clean piece of text that will allow the uh, 
left drawing to work properly. It's a technical detail, but there may be reasons why it would be difficult to add text to this and make it work properly for aggregation. But I can always add specific learning outcomes. For this particular exercise, I'm not doing the specific learning outcomes for one. They're going to be picked up by this. One is, is basic statistics, so 3.1 and 1 are going to basically produce uh, similar results. Uh, this 3.1 will reflect 3.1, and it will add points to this particular assignment. Now with that done, I'm going to create this rubric. And I've done that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, uh, go back to my assignments and attach that rubric. I've got to detach an existing I'm going to swap out, basically, an existing rubric in this particular assignment, which has not yet been delivered to the students. You can't do this after you've delivered it to the students. I'm going to go ahead and edit, find a rubric, go to my uh, 150 slash 2 course here, and pick off that open data. That's the one I want, that one there, the open data exploration. So I'm going to scroll down here, stretch the box out a bit, use this rubric. I'm going to swap out my existing rubric. And then I'm going to go to the pencil, click on the pencil, and come down here and use this rubric for assignment grading. Then I'm going to go ahead and update. It's going to tell me that I just changed the points. I want, yeah, I better change the points to match. So now it's worth 25 points matching the rubric, and the rubric will now uh, grade the assignment for me. So that's how I can get these into these institutional level outcomes into a rubric. And then the the ratings that I put for students will flow out through a outcomes result report from the uh, admin account across the whole everyone on the institution using these course level outcomes a master data bank of course level outcomes at the institutional level that is yet to be built. But it allows me then to gather that data and I can run that out basically through some relational database structures to produce reports on program assessment and institutional assessment against any particular institutional learning outcomes one might choose, or program learning outcomes. The back end, I can do all sorts of things with it. But that's how I get institutional level outcomes onto a rubric that will report back to the inst institutional level and allow the output of a system-wide view of uh, learning at the institution. These, lower, these ones that I wrote at the course level there's no way to, for the institution to pick those up and gather them. I can get reports out on them from my account, uh, probably from the down in the settings reports, the ocean plastic exercise. Um, but I can't, that doesn't do the institution any good. I can't even get that report out. So the only thing I can do is dump it out and um, see it in my mastery mastery screens. So I can't actually do anything with it. So that's one thing to be aware of as you're working with rubrics. Uh, the only data that the institution can access are those that um, are come from outcomes that were loaded into the institutional deck that you saw from the outcome screen when you do a find the account standards. These are the college-wide institutional learning outcomes. And as I say, most of these folders are quite, uh, quite empty at this point.